Welcome to Japan, home of the Gachapon. If you want to see some buck-wild, inanimate pieces of plastic, you've come to the right place. So I was cruising around downtown Tokyo, checking out the latest, greatest Gachapon collections. They got some pretty nice little vending machine toys here, if you ask me. Case in point, we got us some fruits zombies. I basically have zero need for this thing, yet I have a strange desire to acquire, so I think I'll get myself one of these puppies. I slammed my coinage inside, turned that dial, and wow, just wow, that's a pretty nice orb right there. I'll be stocking up on a few more gacha pwn, then I'll be heading on home and opening them, so stick around to the end of the video if you want to see everything I got. So let's see what other kind of crazy ass collections we got around here. Check this out, baby. We actually got a fish anatomy here. Man, oh man, look at all these tuna sashimi cuts here. We got everything from the light fatty, the medium fatty, and the high fatty tuna. Holy smokes, baby. They also got themselves a blowfish over here, and they got a squid. This is definitely a baller as hell collection, but I think I'm gonna give it a pass. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't really need a diagram of a dead fish hanging around my house, so let's see what's next. And holy hot tori Hanzo, baby. We just went from dead fish to Shinkansen seats. Get a look at that pimpin' out of control basket they got in the back of that seat. Man, oh man, I'm loving these micro seats, and check out all the colors. I feel like I just died and went to Shinkansen seat heaven, baby. Granted, like the dead fish, I don't really have a reason to have a miniaturized seat in my house, so I think I'll give that a hard pass as well. And check it out, sweetie buns. Now we're cooking with gas. We actually have full countries jammed inside of flower pots. Here we got the Denmark flower pot, which is looking pretty decent. We also got us the America flower pot, the France flower pot, the Japan, and even the Egypt flower pots. The caption on top of the watering pot says, Have a nice trip, and I couldn't agree more. That's a nice fucking collection right there. I'm just loving these Gachapon collections, and I'm curious what they're gonna think of next, and whoa. Here we got some surprised animals in the house, and as you can see, that panda just received the shock of a lifetime. They got a serious case of PTSD, and I can't say that I blame them. After all, if I learned that I was a mass-produced piece of inanimate plastic, I'd be pretty shocked too. Key takeaway, nice fucking collection right there. What else we got here, baby? We got some animals chillaxing next to a board. They're facing away from the camera. They got their heads sticking outside of a hole and they're standing on top of a box. I don't really know what the master plan is here, but it's a pretty interesting collection and okay, 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 I see what's going on. What we got here are some animals doing a little photo op action. I don't really get what these characters are that they're standing behind, though. Kind of looks like some Grade Z Power Rangers. Nevertheless, it's pretty interesting, so I think I'll give it a whirl. Just gonna throw a little shrapnel into the machine, turn that dial, and check it out, baby. That's a pretty nice orb right there, and I'll be opening it up later along with that fruit zombie. So let's see what other animals we got here and check it out. We got the hippo and the chameleon on a toilet. I would have thought these animals would have different sized toilet seats, but apparently I'm wrong. Apparently I'm dead wrong. Kind of a weird collection, but I might as well get one for one of my patrons. I mean, I can't be greedy and keep all these helpless pieces of plastic to myself now, can I? I gotta share them with the world. So feel free to check out my gachapon and snack box services if you haven't already. And after picking out that buck wild toilet animal for my patron, it's time to see what else we got. And lo and behold, what do we have here? We have the miniaturized shoe lockers. We got a stack of love letters and we got a whole bunch of school shoes. It's getting crazy around here. I don't actually know what the hell I would use this for, but it's a nice little collection nevertheless. What else we got here? Sweet cheeks. We got us some humanoid mushrooms. We got us some humanoid radishes and carrots. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but upon closer inspection, these root vegetables seem to be in downright sensual poses. They got their root tuber endings in the air like they just don't care, and overall, I'd say that's a decent collection. I'm getting all hot and bothered by these damn vegetables, so I think I'll give it a whirl. I put a coin in once, put it in twice, and even put it in thrice, and you best believe I turned that dial.
So that's three gacha pwn for myself and one for my patron, and let's see what else we got here. And holy shnikes, boy, take a look at this one. We got us some Shrine Guardians and Torby Gates. Might not seem like a big deal to you, but I'm actually a pretty big fan of Japanese shrines, and I think I do, in fact, deserve it. They got the nighttime shrine lantern, they got the hand wash, the guardians, they got the gate. What else could you possibly ask for? Basically, what I'm trying to say here is I think this collection was made specifically for me, so I put myself a little shrapnel into the hatch, turned the dial, animalistically grabbed that orb, shoved it into my bag, and sprinted on back to my apartment. And truth be told, all that sprinting got me exhausted out of my motherfucking mind, but there's no time to rest. I just gotta know once and for all what's inside these capsules. The suspense is a killing me, so let's see what we got. Now, I'm not gonna open this in any particular order, but I think what we got here is that shrine collection. Could that be the Torty Gate? I think it is. Man, oh man, look at that Torty Gate. We got some realistic stone texturing, we got some nice moss elements, and a nice rope. Definitely feels like a miniaturized version of the real deal, and I'm loving this damn gate. Now these shrine gates are supposed to signify that you're entering a divine realm, that you're entering a zone of the gods, and I couldn't agree more. Seems to me like now I can make my own private shrine to the Gachapone gods, to be exact. Overall, that shrine is looking mighty fine, and I'd say that's 200 yen well spent. In fact, I'd say it was real well fucking spent. So what's next? Let's go for this blue orb. Is this the radish orb? I think it could be. Just gotta pop the top off this mofo, and I think it's safe to say my level of anticipation is reaching a fever pitch. Man, oh man, take a look at that propaganda paper. Those are some sweet fucking radishes right there, and whoa! Whoa, 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 boy. I think I just died and went to Sensual Radish Paradiso. This thing's chillax into the max. It's love and life, and it's definitely body confident in its own skin. It's a pretty nice pose right there. We also got some nice realistic color gradation on that skin of the radish. It's got a nice stem on the top and some nice appendages on the bottom. So let me just unscrew that keychain. Take that screw out, put that radish on the table, and set it free. Overall, I've weighed the pros and I've weighed the cons, and even for me, it's plain to see that that right there is a nice fucking radish. Next up, let me pick up this reddish orb here. I think the yellow orb is the fruit zombie, so this right here has to be the photo op animal, and let's take a look. Nice. Looks like we got some kind of ant eater here. Wow, baby, look at this little critter. Holy fucking shit. Do you see the fur coloration on that bad boy? Do you see the snout? That's one suave specimen. You might even say it's a majestic mammal of sorts. So what else we got here? We got us a posing box and we got us some posing boards. I thought it was just gonna come with that grade Z Power Ranger, but it actually comes with some french fries and we got something on the back here. Looks like a samurai or something. Seems like some pretty nice posing boards if you ask me. All right, sweet tits, no more messing around. It's time to get that aardvark onto the box. Or is it an anteater? I don't know exactly what it is. I'm not a freaking zoologist here, people. I'm just trying to do my best. So let's get that posing board on deck. Get his snout in the hole. Whoa, 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 the freaking thing fell over. Come on, Chester, try to be a little bit more cooperative, will ya? Come on, Chester, I don't want to waste my time, nor do I want to waste yours. Why don't you do us both a favor and stay put? And wow, just wow, nice fucking samurai pose there, Chester. Chester's looking slick as hell and kawaii as fuck, and I could have sworn he just winked at me. So let's see what other kind of posing boards we got. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry, Chester, didn't mean it. It was just a slip of the hand, happens to the best of us. All right, let's get those damn french fries on deck, and wow... It's a pretty awesome photo op right there, and I'm loving those french fries. Chester, you're stealing the show, baby. We got us a sweet view from the front, and come to think of it, we also got us a sweet view from the back. Chester's just killing it over here, so let's go to that third and final photo op. The gr Oh, damn, Chester. Sorry, Chester, I won't let it happen again, so let's get that grade D Power Ranger up in here. Overall, looking pretty decent, but I still like that samurai the best. And I gotta say a special thanks to Chester because he melted my heart. Anyway, it's time for that final gacha pwn capsule, little thing called the Fruit Zombie. I'm actually pretty sure I saw this collection years ago, but never got around to buying it. 
Most collections you only see once and then you never see them again, but some of them they actually reintroduce years later and I'm pretty happy that they did. I mean, look at the body of this fruits zombie. It's looking pretty realistic. They also have a sweet platform for it to stand on so it doesn't fall over like Chester was doing. And what kind of fruit head we got here? Oh damn, boy, we got us the grapes fruit head. Welp, I think we have the ingredients for a pretty sweet fruits zombie here, so let me jam that neck into the grapes. Holy shit, it's coming together here. Look at that fruits zombie, baby. Just gonna jam it onto that platform, then we'll be good to go. There ain't nothing to it but to do it, and wow, it's looking pretty buck wild. Do you see this fucking thing? It's got a whole bunch of grape eyes, some nice skin tone color, some nice zombie stagger pose action. We got some classic nightmare fuel on our hands right here. I'm loving this zombie. This seems like a dangerous undead source of all the vitamins and minerals you could possibly need. Overall, nice fucking zombie right there. So thanks again for checking this action-packed episode, everybody. Feel free to check out my dedicated Instagram account for Gachapone only. If you want to receive some sweet-ass gachapon directly from me in Japan, then feel free to check out my Patreon service. And as always, thanks for watching this video, everybody. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.